considering this, so eto pala no, yung sa ating lesson kanina, nagtagalog bigla, okay? So in our lesson a while ago, we have solved for the interaction formula that is, I mean, that we would be considering if we are um, if we have a member which is subjected with both axial tension and flexural um, moments or bending moments. But what if we would be solving for the members which do have both axial compression load and flexural members? So this would be an example of it. Oh, by the way, the one on your right is a concentric load and it does have a symmetrical load. So meaning we only have our actual compression in this column right here but if we would be having a certain eccentric load so as you can see here meron tayong eccentricity and once again if there is the presence of eccentricity so if this is to be your let's say pu and we have e so aside from the pu that i mean the actual stress that your column is experiencing it would also experience an internal moment of pu times e so, ang moment natin dyan, M U is equal to P U times E. Where your E is the distance from the centroid of your structural member to the point load itself, to the center of your point load. So, do you get that guys? So, wala naman tayong nakikita moment dito pero dahil, dahil, dahil sa eccentricity, meron na tayong moment. Do you get that everyone? Yes sir. Okay. Yes sir. How about for the others? Oh, Miss Balagtas, kuha? Yes, sir. Mr. Parilyaga, kuha? Patrick? Yes, sir. Okay, sige, ayan. And if you can see here on the bottom, we would be using the same interaction formula, which is PR over PC plus 8 over 9. Basta parehas yan sa kanina. But there's a catch here. Since, oh by the way, ang PR natin dito is of course the load. But there is a catch here once again wherein the the solution for the PR and MRX and MRY wouldn't be the same as before. Because if you would be looking at this certain um, figure right here, or or if you would be looking at this very innocent face right here, the biro lang. Okay, so once again, ito na yung ating legendary ruler, no? yung pinakita ko sa inyo dati. So, if we are to apply a bending moment along the ends, so maglalagay ako ng moment dito sa dulong to, and maglalagay din ako sa mo ng moment dito sa dulong to, it would bend in this manner. So, moment na yung in-apply ko, ha? so I would be twisting it, nag-apply tayo ng moment. And aside from that, if I would be um, applying an actual compressive load here, it would bend for further. So, once again, if I would be applying moments here, so magbe-bend siya ganito, and if I would be applying a uh, actual compression here, it would bend further. Kaya dito sa, ano, sa topic natin na to, medyo iba yung pagkuha natin ng P and ng M. Do you get that, guys? So, by the way, before I ask you if you get it, so this would be its um, amplification in numerical form. So, eto, isipin nyo, eto yung ruler na binigay ko kanina. So, in English, imagine that this was the ruler. And I have applied this moment right here. So, yun yung binend ko. And after bending it, I have applied a certain uh, compressive force. And as you saw a while back, our ruler bent further. So, mas lalo siyang nagbend. So, how can we uh, show that in numerical form? Here, if you would be getting the moment about this point right here, with confirmation, do you see my laser pointer? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So if you would be getting the moment up about this point right here, aside from these moments right here, so M and T, you would be having a certain lever arm of, ano, ano ba to? Delta ata to. So small delta. So this is the, I'm not quite sure what you would be calling this, but let's say that this is to be the deformation, the deflection. So our P, our P and T, or by the way, our NT here indicates that this force right here does not include translation. So, not, I mean, not translation nga yung basa nila dyan eh. But, yan, NT is, well, we wouldn't be considering translation. Okay, once again, if you would be getting the moment about this certain point right here, MNT plus our point load times lever arm. So, because if you would be 
um, multiplying your point load by the lever arm and the lever arm is to be the perpendicular distance between your force and the point that you're considering that would be the moment so if you are to consider that our mr in this case would be mnt plus pnt times um, delta so pnt delta do you get that guys or do you do i need to explain further nakuha ba guys kung saan nakuha tong formula nito mr villaria yes, miss filio kuha yeah. Miss Gonzalez? Yes, sir. Miss Maneha? Yes, sir. Miss Molina? Yes, sir. Okay, so this is to be the case if your frame or if your column is braced against sides away. So if you can read this, so moment application of a column that is braced against sideways. So how can we say that our column is braced against sideways? So if there is the presence of an adequately designed shear wall, ang shear wall natin is one way of bracing your column. So this is to be what you would be calling a shear wall. And this is what you would be calling diagonal bracing. So if your columns is braced diagonally, there would be no uh, sideways. So once again, if you would be having lateral bracings, so such as shear walls and diagonal bracings. You would be solving this using this case right here. And imagine, no, aalisin yung diagonal bracing. So for example, that you would be removing this, or let's say that you would be removing your shear walls right here, and you have um, a lateral load here. So meron tayong lateral load. So once again, tanggalin natin yung diagonal bracings. The tendency of your structure is to bend sideways. So magaganito siya, no? Can you imagine, guys? Yes, sir. Okay, so if that is to be the case, kapag wala siyang bracing, it would undergo this behavior right here. So ito, nakita nyo, nag-sway siya papunta sa right. And as you can see here, ito kasi nakalagay talaga dyan, kung di nyo man mabasa, M, L, T. So that is to be the moment that considers lateral translation, yun yung LT, lateral translation. And similarly with the equation on your left, so the moment here, so RMR is equal to MLT plus PNT, so i ano ko na, isulat ko lang, MLT plus PNT. Yung PNT natin, same pa rin siya as before. No? It would be your compressive load. But this time, we would be multiplying it by capital delta because it would displace by this much. So if you would be getting the moment about this point right here, so meron tayong MLT. So meron tayong MLT. And we also have a PNT times delta. And our PNT is our compressive load and our delta is to be our lever arm brought about by the side sway. Kasi pag mag side sway siya, kung dati ito concentric siya, even though it is concentric, it would be, I mean, it would still give you a lever arm of delta. And if you want to pursue structural engineering soon, this is what you would be calling P delta effect. So kahit eccentric siya, pag mag earthquake tapos wala kang Side sway bracing, magkakaroon ka ng additional moment sa inyong column. So, do you understand that, guys? Yes, sir. Okay, so, oh, Mr. Narvaez, kuha naman? Yes, sir. Miss Lida, kuha? Yes, sir. Okay, so that okay. is for this one's right here. And there are actually plenty of ways to solve for this. So, kung gusto nyo mag-masters, no? Mag-masters ng structural engineering, you would be um, solving for this one's using more, a more complex solutions. But in today's pre-recorded lecture, we would be making use of this approximate second um, second moment order method. So approximate lang siya. So it is quite easy. So ito lang siya, direct substitution lang siya once again, but it is not that accurate. So hindi yung sagot natin dito, hindi kasing accurate kapag isolve nyo sa siya ng more detailed. So, madami tayong ways once again, pero ito lang muna yung ipapakita ko sa inyo. But soon enough, when you are engineers, you, it is better for you to study other methods kasi ito approximate lang siya. Though it is just an approximate, it is fairly um, conservative. So, mas mataas yung ating nakukuhang loadings dito. Okay, so 
Once again, I have shown to you a while back that because of our side sway and because of this deflection right here, our moments would be amplified. And by that amplification, I mean, yes, by the amplification itself, if we would be um, solving for MR, that is to be betas of 1 MNT plus betas of 2 MLT. So if you would be, I mean, if our certain structure is unbraced, so kapag, kapag wala siyang bracing like this diagonal bracing or this shear wall right here, ito yung formula mo. But for example, that your um, structural member is braced, is laterally braced or diagonally braced like this, so hindi ka mag -e experience ng P-delta effect. So it means that this MLT right here would be equal to 0. So meaning this would cancel out and there is no point of solving for betas of 2. So ayan, and yung MNT nyo is this moment right here. So similarly, dito sa mga ito, ito yung mga MNT nila. No? Yung sa mga pinag-resolve natin kanina, that is to be this and this. So that is to be what you would be calling first order moments. Okay, guys, uh, ito pala, take note. This is what you would be calling first order moments. This one. And this right here is what you would be calling second order moments. So, ito yung moment na nag-subject because uh, meron tayong deflection. So, mga P-delta effect or ito P-delta effect pa rin naman ito, eh, pero small, small delta lang siya. Okay, so, ayan. And how can we solve for the value of MR? So, betas of 1 times moment and our betas of 1 is equal to this. And ano bang kailan natin malaman dito? So, for the value for your CM, direct substitution, you would be using this. And as for our PR, alam nyo na yan, yan yung ating required strength, your required actual compressive strength. And as for our PE1, so if you can remember Euler's buckling formula, so meron tayong formula dati which is pi squared e um, i over kl squared. So do you remember this guys? So napag-usapan natin yan dati. So check ko lang. Throwback tayo. Oops, hindi, hindi siya naipakita dito. No? Pero nandito siya sa, sa analysis of compression members. Okay, so balik tayo. So ayan. And if you're bending is about the x-axis, ang gagamitin mo dito is PIX. But if your bending is about the y-axis, gamitin mo dito PIY. Okay, so what else? So that is to be for your PEI. And if you can see here, we have um, a value alpha here. Ito, may alpha dito. And the value for your alpha is equal to 1.00 if you are to consider LRFB. And if you are to consider ASD, you, you would be using 1.6. So, ASD. So, okay. And as for betas of 2, let's talk about that some other time. So, ayan. Meron na tayong CM. Meron na tayong PR. Meron na tayong Euler's buckling um, resistance. Meron na din tayong alpha. Pero yung CM natin, take note guys, that in this formula right here, by the way guys, nababasa nyo ba itong formula binilogan ko? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so sa iba malabo. So that is to be... Alam, palakin ko na lang kaysa isulat ko. Pampangit ng sulat ko eh. Teka, palaki lang natin guys. So sa mga hindi nakababasa, o oh yan, ewan ko nababasa nyo pa rin. I mean, kung nababasa nyo na. Nababasa nyo na sa mga hindi nakabasa kanina? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so ayan. So that is to be 0 0.6 minus 0 0.4 M1 over M2. And take note guys, your M1 should be the smaller moment. So, smaller moment. And your M2 should be your larger moment. And take note, guys, that there is a sign convention here. Pero kayo mamimili kung anong sign convention nyo. So, may it be counterclockwise positive or let's say um, clockwise positive. So, for example, clockwise positive yung ginamit nyo. And for example, na pareha sila ng direction. So, for example, that this is to be your column. And you have your moments right here. And you have your moment right here and kung kunwari ang ginawa mo is positive I mean counterclockwise positive so from ay clockwise pala to clockwise positive and from that if your sign convention is clockwise positive this is to be negative tama ba? okay kung mag proceed muna tayo no? so ayan so for example ganyan nga yung ating ano ganyan yung ating figure 
So this is to be positive and this is to be negative. So positive divided by negative, that is to be negative. And for example, na baliktad naman. So for example, that this is to be your moment. So both of them are positive. So positive di divided by positive, that is to be positive. So ganto isa pang clue. If your um, if your member would be bending along one direction only, so single curvature. Ang pangit ko mag-curve eh. So, for example, single curvature yung inyong bending. So, nag-bend lang siya along a certain curve. So, nagtulungan sila. This is what you would be calling negative. Negative moments about this point. So, M1 over M2 negative siya. But if you would be experiencing um, a moment that a same direction. Wait lang, same direction ba? Okay. O, same direction. The tendency of your column is to bend in this manner. So, may... Double, double curvature siya, no? So, ito kunwari yung original na ano niya. Ibay natin yung color. This is to be its original um, column. I mean, its original uh, case. Then, nagkaroon tayo ng moment, kaya nag-curve siya And if you, if your um, structural member would bend in that case, this is what you would be calling positive curvature. So, negative yung isa, positive yung isa. And then, ayun. So, you would be applying them here. Kapag, kapag same sila ng moment, the answer of this would be positive. Labo. So, this would be positive. And if single curvature, your answer here would be negative. Okay tayo doon guys? Malinaw tayo? Yes, sir. Okay. So, once again, double curvature, positive, single curvature, negative. And kung ayaw nyo intindihin yon, mag-sign convention na lang kayo dito. And kapag mag-negative tong isa, then mag-positive tong isa, ang answer nila is to be negative. But if they both are negative or if they both are positive, positive. So, ayan lang yan. And for you to understand our lesson better, it's, it is better for us to have an illustrative example.